you're watching free content from Digital Tutors, the world's largest CG training library. Enjoy the tutorial and visit digitaltutors.com to find thousands of videos streaming in HD. In this lesson, we'll talk about some advanced component selection methods within Softimage. Okay, so just like we did in our previous lesson, I'm just going to start with a very simple polygon torus. So we'll go to Get Primitive, Polygon Mesh, Torus. All right, I'll go ahead and just leave that at the default settings. And again, just to make this a little bit easier to see, we'll switch this to a shaded mode. Now, in our previous lesson, we talked a little bit about these different geometry components and exactly what they are and how we can start to select those. Now, within Softimage, we have the ability to do some advanced selection methods with these as well. So, for example, there may be uh, any number of situations where maybe we want to be able to grab an entire ring or an entire loop of components, maybe something like these polygons. So, if I were to come in and press the U key on my keyboard, normally what I would have to do is come in and shift click on all these different polygons. Now with a mesh that's this simple, this becomes pretty easy to do, but if this were something that was very complex, uh, going through and selecting each one of these polygons one by one could be really, really tedious. So within Softimage, we can perform what's called a loop selection. So to perform a loop selection, all we have to do is just simply first select a polygon, and then with that uh, polygon selected, we can alt middle click on the polygon next to it. You can see that Softimage will automatically go through here and try to select all the different polygons that belong on that same row. And if we wanted to actually uh, maybe select these the other way, uh, we could just, again, select a polygon and then Alt middle click. Let's say we actually wanted to select, uh, instead of the loop going around this way, maybe we want to grab this entire loop going around here. So again, with that selected, Alt middle click, and there we go. Now, this uh, loop selection will work with things other than just polygons. So, for example, if I were to press the E key on my keyboard, I could select an edge and then Alt middle click the edge next to it. And you can see, once again, it will grab that entire loop. So this becomes, again, very, very useful for modeling purposes when we have to come through and actually make uh, these large selections. Now, in addition to a loop selection, we also have what's called a range selection where instead of actually grabbing an entire loop, we could actually uh, basically grab maybe just two different polygons, and Softimage will grab basically everything in between. So to do this, again, uh, just demonstrate this in polygon mode. So press the U key on my keyboard. I can grab a polygon here. And instead of Alt middle clicking to do a loop selection, we can Alt left click, and you can see that Softimage will try to grab all the components between the two that I had selected. Now, while we're on the topic of uh, selecting these different components, Softimage actually has a couple of different modes that we could use uh, to make these component selections a little bit easier. So typically, if we were to uh, come in and start to select these different components, if we wanted to start to add these, we would actually need to use something like our Shift key, and we could start to Shift select additional components, or Control Shift to actually deselect. Okay. Now, if you're not necessarily a fan of holding down these keyboard shortcuts, uh, something like the Shift or Control Shift, what we could actually do is enable a feature called Extended Component Selection. Now, if we click on the Select menu, go all the way down to the bottom, we have this Extended Component Selection. Now, this behaves uh, quite a bit differently. You'll notice now as I come in and start to select these, I'm actually not holding anything down on my keyboard. I'm just simply coming in and left-clicking and Softimage will automatically add uh, these new components to my existing selection. So whenever you have this extended component selection on, the selection method now depends on which mouse button I'm using. So you'll see that uh, down here, if we look at my left, middle, and right mouse buttons, you can see that my left mouse button is set to select, my middle mouse button is set to deselect, and now my right mouse button is set to toggle. So now instead of using Shift or Control Shift, now I can just left click to add, middle click to take away, or I could come in and right click to toggle. So again, just uh, a matter of which particular mode you like to use. Uh, as a matter of personal preference, I like to actually leave this extended component selection turned off. Uh, that way I can come in and if I need to uh, maybe switch my selection from one to another, I don't have to worry about deselecting one, then reselecting another, which is what we would have to do in extended component selection. Now, here's where this can sometimes get a little bit confusing. 
Softimage has this extended component selection. However, if we go up to these different modes, we also have this extended uh, mode up here. Now these two modes are actually different, so don't confuse these two uh, with each other. So down here in the extended component selection, this is where we actually saw where we could uh, avoid the use of our keyboard shortcuts to add or remove selections. However, the uh, extended modes over here basically allow us to select multiple component types at the same time. So you can see right now I have a polygon selected, but if I went to, uh, let's say, raycast, or rather extended point, you can see now I still have my polygon selected, but now I can come in here and now start to select points in addition to my polygon. So the extended mode over here is really just a way of allowing us to select multiple component types at the same time. Alright, and then finally the last thing I want to show you before we wrap up this lesson is the fact that we can actually convert between uh, different component types. So for example, if I were to again press the U key on my keyboard and then Alt middle click to select this entire loop, what I could do is take this existing selection and then actually convert this to maybe another component type. Let's say I want this same selection, but maybe instead of polygons I wanted this to be points. Well, what we could do is go up to select and then select adjacent. And now if I were to set this to something like points, it will now take this existing selection and now you can see it has selected all the points that match up with those different polygons. So really, as you can see, lots and lots of different tools, uh, techniques, and tricks when it comes to actually selecting and working with your components in Softimage. And we'll get a lot of practice in this as we start to get a little bit further in this modeling section of our training.